Imagine you are floating alone in deep space, an observer on the edge of the unknown. Before you, a black hole looms like a wound in the fabric of reality, darker than anything you've ever seen. It doesn't shine, it doesn't reflect, it simply devours. Light, space, time, everything is swallowed whole. But what happens if you fall in? It's common knowledge now that depending on the type and size of the black hole, it's either instant death or eventual death by spaghettification. An inescapable prison where not even light can survive. But what if that's not the whole truth? What if, instead of being a cosmic tomb, a black hole is something far stranger? What if, rather than an end, it's a beginning? For decades, black holes have been seen as points of no return, but new research is revealing a terrifying and mind-breaking possibility. The idea that black holes are not just voids of destruction, but gateways to other universes. If that's true, then falling into a black hole wouldn't be an end, it would be a journey to an entirely new reality. The question is, what does that actually mean? And more importantly, could we ever escape? To understand why this idea is so groundbreaking, we need to go back to the first time we ever theorized that black holes could exist. It was Albert Einstein, through his theory of general relativity, who first predicted the existence of these gravitational monsters. He showed that if you concentrated enough mass into a small enough space, its gravity would become so strong that nothing, not even light, could escape. But Einstein himself didn't believe black holes could actually form, he thought nature would have some way of preventing them. Fast forward to today, and we now know he was wrong. Black holes exist, and they're everywhere. They sit at the hearts of galaxies, swallowing stars and entire solar systems. Some are millions of times the mass of our sun. But here's where things get strange. Einstein's equations tell us something horrifying. Inside a black hole, space and time don't behave like they should. In fact, at the very center, what we call the singularity, the laws of physics completely break down. Time itself stops making sense. And yet, black holes exist meaning they must obey some kind of deeper reality we don't yet understand. This is where things get interesting. The idea that black holes might connect to other universes comes from something called the Einstein-Rosen bridge, better known as a wormhole. Einstein and physicist Nathan Rosen proposed that black holes might not just be one-way sinks into oblivion. Instead, they could be tunnels, linking different regions of space-time. Imagine a piece of paper. If you place two dots on opposite ends and fold the paper so the dots touch you've created a shortcut a wormhole. Some scientists now believe black holes could function in a similar way. But here's the catch. Everything we know about black holes suggests they should be impossible to survive. The gravitational forces should tear you apart before you ever reach the center. The singularity should destroy you. And yet, what if that's not what actually happens? What if instead of dying you're transported somewhere else? To understand how a black hole could lead to another universe, we have to confront one of the strangest paradoxes in physics, the black hole information paradox. According to quantum mechanics, information, meaning the fundamental properties of matter and energy, can never be destroyed. But black holes seem to break this rule. When something falls into a black hole, it's supposed to be gone forever. No trace, no evidence it ever existed. This contradicts everything we know about physics. So, where does the information go? For years, physicists struggled with this question, Stephen Hawking initially believed that information was truly lost, evaporating away as the black hole emitted radiation. But if that were true, it would mean our understanding of the universe was fundamentally broken. Then came a radical new idea. What if black holes don't destroy information at all but instead send it somewhere else? What if, rather than vanishing, everything that enters a black hole is translated into a different reality? Some physicists believe this means black holes act as tunnels gateways to entirely new universes. According to this idea, when a black hole forms, it might not just collapse into itself. Instead, it could be seeding the birth of another universe, one where the information isn't lost but simply moved. Here's where things get even stranger. There's a concept in physics called the white hole, a theoretical object that is the exact opposite of a black hole. While a black hole pulls everything in, a white hole spits everything out. In some models, a black hole in one universe could be directly connected to a white hole in another, meaning everything that falls in doesn't disappear, it just reappears somewhere else. Imagine this, you fall into a black hole, expecting to be crushed into oblivion. But instead of being ripped apart, you emerge, intact, into an entirely different universe, where the laws of physics are slightly different, where galaxies look alien, 
where time itself moves in ways we can't comprehend. Now you might be wondering, hasn't science proven that nothing can survive falling into a black hole? The answer, surprisingly, is no. While it's true that the gravity inside a black hole is extreme, recent research suggests that under certain conditions, you might not be destroyed. Instead, the interior of a black hole could be structured in a way that allows for a kind of passage, a one-way trip into another realm. Some theories even propose that the singularity, rather than being a point of infinite density, could be a gateway where space and time bend so completely that they loop back into a different reality. This would mean that black holes aren't just cosmic trash compactors, they are the birth canals of new universes. And this isn't just wild speculation. In 2019, physicists discovered something extraordinary. Black holes might not be entirely black. The event horizon, the boundary beyond which nothing can escape, may actually allow tiny amounts of information to leak out. This suggests that the interior of a black hole might not be the end of physics, but rather the entrance to something deeper, something we've only begun to grasp. So, if falling into a black hole isn't necessarily death, then what happens if we go in on purpose? Could we one day travel through black holes to explore other universes? And if we did, would we ever be able to return? Imagine humanity's greatest scientific breakthrough. A mission to deliberately enter a black hole. A spacecraft, reinforced with exotic materials, equipped with the most advanced technology ever conceived, hovers at the edge of the event horizon. Scientists and engineers have spent decades preparing for this moment, carefully calculating every variable. The moment of truth arrives. The ship inches forward. As it crosses the event horizon, time distorts. To an observer watching from the outside, the spacecraft appears to slow down, stretched infinitely against the dark abyss. But for those inside, the experience is entirely different. There is no sense of stopping. Instead, they feel the pull of gravity warping space around them, bending light in ways that defy comprehension. The laws of physics as they understood them begin to blur. For a moment, Everything seems normal. The ship's instruments continue to function, the crew remains calm. But then, something happens that no one anticipated. The walls of reality themselves seem to stretch and dissolve. The familiar three-dimensional space around them warps into something unrecognizable. It's no longer just space they're moving through, it's something deeper, something more fundamental. The crew watches in awe as the blackness gives way to an unfathomable structure, something that isn't just emptiness but a gateway. This is where the concept of quantum gravity comes into play. Some physicists believe that inside a black hole, the very nature of space and time change so drastically that our current understanding of physics is no longer valid. Instead of being destroyed, matter may be reconfigured in ways beyond our comprehension. If black holes truly do connect to other universes, then what happens at the singularity isn't destruction, it's transformation. The ship doesn't crash into a dense point of infinite gravity instead it experiences a cosmic rebirth. As the spacecraft moves further into the black hole, the environment becomes utterly alien. Time as they once understood it has no meaning. The past, present and future exist simultaneously. The dimensions themselves begin to shift. Length, width and height may not even be fixed properties anymore. Space could wrap around in ways we can't visualize, forming tunnels that lead not to death, but to another universe entirely. Some theories suggest that in the deepest part of a black hole there is no singularity at all, at least not in the traditional sense. Instead there is a bridge, a connection between different regions of space and time. This is where the idea of a wormhole takes hold. Unlike ordinary wormholes which are hypothetical shortcuts in space, the type that might exist inside a black hole could be naturally occurring. If true, this would mean black holes aren't just objects in our universe, they could be gateways between universes. Now imagine the other side. What does it look like? Is it a place with different laws of physics? Could it be an entirely new cosmos untouched by time as we know it? What if it is a mirror of our own, but subtly different, where gravity works in reverse or where light moves faster than we can comprehend? The implications are terrifying and exhilarating. If we ever entered such a realm, would we recognize it? Would we even be able to perceive it with our limited human senses? Or would we become something new, and then comes the most haunting question of all. If you fall into a black hole and emerge in another universe, can you ever go back? The answer, as of now, is chillingly uncertain. If black holes truly act as one-way tunnels to new realities, then passing through one may be a journey of no return. Once you step across that threshold, you may leave behind everything you once knew, forever. 
And yet, for a species driven by an insatiable need to explore, to discover, to understand, wouldn't that be the ultimate adventure? If black holes really do lead to new universes, then they might not be the end of our story, but the beginning of something far greater. The next step in humanity's evolution may not be a journey across stars, but a leap beyond reality itself. But there's one more possibility we have to consider. What if we're already inside one? What if everything we see, the galaxies stretching across space, the light traveling for billions of years, the very fabric of reality, isn't actually the full extent of the universe? What if, instead of being in an infinite cosmos, we are already inside a black hole? This isn't just some wild science fiction idea, it's a real possibility that some physicists are beginning to take seriously. Here's why. In the standard model of cosmology, our universe began with the Big Bang, a moment of incomprehensible energy where all matter and space exploded outward from an infinitely small point. But this creates an unsettling parallel. A black hole forms when too much mass is squeezed into a small space, collapsing into a singularity where gravity becomes so strong that nothing can escape. What if our own universe began the same way, not as an explosion, but as a collapse? What if the Big Bang wasn't the start of everything, but merely the result of something falling into a black hole in another universe? Think about it. Black holes have event horizons, boundaries beyond which nothing can escape. And our own universe appears to have a similar boundary, the cosmic horizon. Beyond a certain point we can't see anything because space is expanding faster than light can travel. Could this be the same principle at work? Could we be trapped inside a larger structure, something that exists beyond our perception? The implications of this theory are beyond mind-blowing. If our universe is the interior of a black hole, then that means there is an outside, a reality, beyond our observable cosmos. And just as black holes in our universe might connect to others, our universe might be a bridge to something even greater. What we perceive as normal physics, gravity, time, the movement of galaxies, might just be the rules dictated by the black hole we are trapped inside. This would mean that what we think of as the universe is just one layer of an endless cascading structure of realities, with black holes constantly spawning new universes within them. And if that's true then what happens when our black hole dies? We know that black holes don't last forever, they slowly evaporate over time due to hawking radiation. If our universe is inside one, then what happens when it reaches the end of its lifespan? Does our universe fade away? Does it explode into something else? Or does it simply restart? Some theories suggest that our universe may be part of a never-ending cycle, where black holes don't just create new universes but also act as the rebirth points for them. When one black hole evaporates, another takes its place, setting the stage for a new Big Bang. This idea leads to an even bigger question. If black holes are creating universes, does that mean someone, somewhere, could create one intentionally. If we ever reached a point where we understood black hole physics well enough, could we artificially collapse matter to seed a new cosmos? If so, that would mean universes could be designed, engineered, or even controlled. And that brings us to perhaps the most unsettling thought of all. If black holes are doorways to new universes, then is it possible that someone, somewhere, created ours? Could we be living in a cosmic simulation, not in a computer sense, but in a universe that was artificially formed inside an immense black hole in another realm? If so, then every black hole we see in space might not just be a void, but a womb, a cradle of existence, each one giving birth to an entirely new reality. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember this. Some of those black holes out there may not just be endings. They may be doorways, waiting to be explored. They may contain entire worlds, galaxies, even civilizations beyond anything we can imagine. And maybe, just maybe, the greatest discovery in human history won't be a new planet, or even a new galaxy, but the realization that falling into darkness may be the only way to truly see the light.